Welcome back to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and you're watching Sprinkler TV. I got a fun one today. This is, excuse my French, a big ass sprinkler. I mean, seriously, this thing is ginormous. It's the Hunter I-90, and it's as big as Interstate 90. It's freaking huge, look at that. Inch and a half inlet. Who has an inch and a half inlet? It takes 30 gallons a minute minimum to operate this sprinkler. So where would we use a sprinkler like this? Well, typically it is in city parks, sports fields, you know, wide open turf areas. That's, that's typically where we see these. Um, this one, uh, this one actually came back on return, which is why I have it. And I don't think that the customer knew that they were ordering such a big sprinkler and they wrote back to us, it doesn't work. And I'm like, yeah, no kidding. You don't have 30 gallons a minute at your house or your commercial building to, to operate a sprinkler like this. So if you're ordering an I-90, I just want you to know, this is how big it is, big ass sprinkler. So now that I have it, I want to kind of uh, take it apart for you. Let me move my iPhone out of the way here. Let's, let's take the, top off and pull this baby out, get a look at it. Sometimes looking at it online is just not enough. There we go. There's the filter, bottom filter basket. And you know, I've never actually used one of these, so I'm sure you could take this, but it's on there pretty good. The spring is, uh, is not crazy tight. I actually think the spring on an I-40 has uh, more tension on it than the spring here on the I-90. We'll use the Hunter pull-up tool here in a minute to, to pull it up out of the canister so you can see it. There are three nozzles you can uh, replace with different distances and different flow rates. And on the back, it has two other ones. Those are the what's called opposing nozzles. And it's got a rubber top. You can also switch this out and get a little turf cup. They can go on the top there. And um, man, it's just, it's just a solid sprinkler. I mean, holy smokes. Look at that, you can even like, it's huge. It's gotta be one of the only sprinklers that has an inch and a half inlet on the bottom of it. And let's, um, let's actually go ahead and use the Hunter hold up or pull hold up tool here just to test the string the spring tension put it in give it a turn okay that's pretty good very easy to very easy to pull up so it's not going to take a lot of pressure to lift this with water but it's going to take a crap load of flow rate and let me just show you that real quick too i've got hunter's website here and you can see on the left this would be it starts with the sort of the smallest distance one inch inlet so here's the one inch inlet all the way up to the inch and a half inlet which is the i-90 so this is hunter's largest sprinkler that's not a big gun meant for like uh, synthetic turf applications but it's the largest sprinkler meant for natural turf applications and look at that, it's actually their only sprinkler that in theory with the right flow rate and available pressure can throw water up to 100 feet. Look at that, it would require 30 gallons per minute uh, minimum. And I'm guessing that if we were throwing water 100 feet, then we're up at that 80 gallon per minute range. And then the recommended pressure range is 80. So you need 80 PSI minimum for this sprinkler. And you can see that the more more standard uh, I-25 smaller range sprinkler is uh, 40. And uh, you know what, I'm gonna pause this here real quick because um, I do have uh, like a Hunter PGP. So let me just pause this and I'll jump right back with the PGP. Man, was that quick? <laughs> I've got the PGP sprinkler here. And I also have an I-20 sprinkler. And what I wanna do is give you a comparison. So what we'll do is I'll hold up three sprinklers here. I-20 on the left side of the screen, I-90 in the middle, 
and then the PGP on the right. So you can see, I'll set them down here as well. We'll flip the camera back over for the overhead shot. We have the, starting on the left, this is the Hunter PGP right here. This is the Hunter I-20. And this is the big ass, big ass I-90. I don't know why I'm so enthusiastic about this. It's just kind of fun to hold such a large sprinkler. And I would say if you're throwing 60, 70 feet at 20 to 30 gallons a minute at 80 PSI, you better watch out. You don't want to be hit by this sprinkler. So anyway, kind of a fun video here. Drop a comment down below if you have experience using these. Maybe you are the sports turf manager for a stadium and you've got some of these uh, on your property. Or maybe these are, you know, kind of... Uh, running down the side of the fairway on your golf course. We'd love to know what kind of experience you have with the Hunter I-90, maybe some tips and tricks for both installing these and maintaining it. Let us know. And if you have any other questions about Hunter products, we are always happy to help. You can reach us by phone, chat, email, text message. And if you want a technical support call with me, there's a link down below. You can book a time on my calendar for us to connect. So thank you so much for watching. Happy sprinkling. And we'll see you on the next episode of Sprinkler TV.